guys, my name is Sharita. Welcome to my channel. So today's video um, is a video that I've kind of been wanting to do for a while. I was gonna break it down into two parts, but because the video, like because the tea, the stories are so old, I'm just gonna talk about both of these topics very, very quickly so that you guys can get my input on what I think about these situations. So, before I get started, make sure you click the subscribe button for new content just about every week-ish, and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you are notified every single time that I post a video. So if you're not familiar with this story, this happened like on Flatbush Avenue in New York at a Target. What happened was, there was a lady, a black woman, who was upset with a, I'm going to assume her race, but I don't know 100%, but I'm going to assume that the person on the other side of the camera was a white woman. What happened was this black woman was shopping in Target. The white woman reached over the black woman's child to get something like a shampoo or something. She never said, excuse me, pardon me, like nothing she just rudely reached over this child to get what what she wanted I don't know what happened in between the time that this woman did not say excuse me until the time this woman started filming all that we saw was this white woman basically saying oh you're mad because I didn't say excuse me absolutely She's absolutely upset that you did not say excuse me because it's rude. It's rude and it happens way, way too often. Now, before I get into like the semantics of everything, the black woman was upset and I assume that she was being provoked by this white woman because we don't know, again, we don't know what happened between the time that, by the time that, excuse me, Esther reached over the child we don't know what happened between the time that happened and she started filming. So by the time, excuse me, Esther started filming, we don't know what happened. But what we do know is the video was turned over to the cops and maybe they looked at some film at Target, but the black woman was not charged with anything. As far as I know, that's what I've read. So if you are not a black woman or a person of color, you might not understand why somebody not saying excuse me is such a big deal. Do you guys remember months and months and months ago when Jackie Ina went on Twitter and was like, what is it about white women that they cannot physically say excuse me? And a lot of people got upset because they were like, oh Jackie, this is so racist, this, that, and the other. But the thing is, is it's the truth. It's not racist. And if it don't apply, let it fly. If you are the type of white person that does say, excuse me, this has nothing to do with you. But as a black person, as a black woman, I cannot tell you how many times I have made it a point to walk out of the way of white people coming towards me because I know one, they're not gonna move and two, they're not going to say, excuse me. Why do I know that? Because it's happened time and time and time and time again. And this isn't new, you guys. This is nothing new. So when Jackie went on her rant and was like, you guys, like, I'm not, I'm not saying this to be racist. I'm saying this because this is what happens on a daily. And you guys, if you just like took two seconds, this is four, but if you guys took two seconds to Google white women don't say excuse me, I promise you there are a plethora of videos, blog posts. There's so many things of other black women and other black people that are like, I've bumped shoulders with people because they refuse to say excuse me. Like this isn't something that we're making up. And I promise you like it's not it's not like this happens in one part of town so we're running into the same type of people. No, this is a global issue. It's happening to so many different people by so many different white people. It's not like Susan from Milwaukee just keeps running into random black people to where they're like, oh, yep, it, it was this person. Oh, yep, it was that person. No, it's different people all the 
time. While, yes, the white woman should have said excuse me, period, point blank. She should have said, excuse me. If she said, excuse me, the black woman would have moved her child. She would have been able to get her, her shampoo. That's it. But because she didn't say, excuse me, I'm sure something happened where she was basically like trying to break the character of this black woman, which she eventually did because, because when she started recording, the black woman like hit her phone a couple times and was like, get that phone out of my face. She was being provoked to act a certain way then the woman you know it was like the angry black woman trope and i feel sorry for your daughter and if you treat a stranger like this imagine how she treats her daughter at home like it's this disgusting cycle that this woman was just like perpetuating because she didn't say excuse me if she would have said excuse me none of this would have happened and i know a lot of you guys are probably thinking well what's the big deal what's the big deal manners manners use your manners that's it i am not a confrontational type of person so do i agree with how the black woman went about it no not necessarily but i understand in the words of chris rock i'm not saying she should have done it but i understand i remember when i was in junior high now i am mm -hmm, years old and i remember being in junior high and I was one of maybe like five black kids in the school. And one of a couple of the girls were like, hey, we're going to we're going to try something. We're going to test something. We're going to stand in the hallway and hold hands. And we just want to see who says excuse me. So we did. We stood there. We held hands. People literally were like trying to go under our arms, like trying to step over us. Anything but to fix their lips to say excuse me why is that such why is that so hard why is that such a difficult concept to just say excuse me you say excuse me if the person reacts rude then okay that's fine but just say excuse me manners are not hard excuse me thank you you're welcome like manners are not hard manners should be taught from the time that we are babies manners that's it so let me know what you guys think if you haven't seen the video i'll make sure that i leave a link of the video because i mean it's something that you guys have to see but i promise you nobody is making it up when a black person unless you're unless you're a black person you can't say this isn't true because you have not lived in our footsteps in our shoes white people do not say excuse me so that's number one the second thing i want to talk about is this this campaign this picture that has gone viral from h m so the first time i saw this picture of this beautiful little black girl it was just her picture alone and her hair was you know disheveled it looked like maybe she had played outside all day i don't know her hair did not look professional so the first thing i thought was everybody was mad at h&m and i was like why is anybody mad at h&m if anything they should be mad at the parents this was my my gut my first reaction i knew nothing else all i saw was the picture well come to find out H&M held this campaign called Kids Will Be Kids or something like that. And basically it was a group of different children, different ages, different ethnicities, different hair length, different hair textures, and all of their hair looked a mess. And what they were trying to show was what kids look like when they come home from school apparently that was not a good enough excuse and people were mad because it was this little black girl who's got kinky coily hair and you know her hair was sticking up here it was sticking up there her hair seems to be kind of thin so it wasn't like the fuller 4c type afro hair that media presents as being acceptable and the people who were most upset were black people and that makes me sad because that just goes to show that there's some kind of like internalized hate or whatever based on the media alone because didn't wasn't nobody else was talking about any other kid 
and all of those kids hair looked a mess and then they wanted to talk about oh well she was the only kid that had a side profile so it's like a mugshot no 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 because there was another young child that had a side profile picture so miss me with the bs this is fake outrage it's fake hate people were upset to me for no reason now if this would have just been like her picture alone and nobody else had the same hair and it wasn't a kids will be kids campaign then yes of course we could be upset but there was no need to be upset and what i find funny what i find hilarious is last at the beginning of the month or the end of august parents were showing kids from when they left school in the morning and then when they picked them up there was one little black girl in particular where she went to school with this fake ponytail. It was this long, fake Elsa type ponytail. When her mom picked her up, the ponytail was out of her hair. The, the ponytail was gone. I don't know if the ponytail was on the playground. I don't know if the ponytail was in her backpack, but I can tell you the ponytail was not on her head. And her hair looked no different than what the little girl from H&M her hair looks like during that campaign. There was no difference and everybody thought that was the funniest thing. Like that picture went viral. Everybody was laughing. They were like, oh, she had a rough day at school. Oh, kindergarten is hard. Oh, she played real rough. She did this. She was being a child. But the minute H&M depicts, depicts? Uh-huh. The minute H&M depicts the same thing, the same thing, kids will be kids. Now it's an issue. People were like, oh, I would never. My child would never be in a magazine like that. Why not? Why not? I don't understand. I can understand if it was just her hair and everybody else's hair was done, slicked back, you know, perfectly presentable. I can understand that, but no, we have to stop shaming natural hair and especially for C hair type four hair which type four hair is the kinky coily y'all remember when y'all hated on blue ivy y'all hated on blue ivy oh i can't believe beyonce would let her daughter walk out of the house like that like what with natural hair and the same people who are mad about this natural 4c people you know showing their four hair those are the same people who don't like their own hair those are the same people who always have to have a weave or have to have a wig or have to have a protective style everybody want everybody is for the natural movement until it's type four hair then all of a sudden the hair is is unkempt then all of a sudden the hair is unprofessional just can we just love natural hair for being natural hair because nobody talked about the little girl that had the the three c hair the big loop de curls that were disheveled. Nobody talked about that. All they cared about was this beautiful young girl who has type four hair and y'all hate to see it. And I'm just confused. If y'all can tell me the difference between real life where this little girl came home from school and her hair looked just like this H&M magazine catalog model until y'all can tell me the difference stop with the fake outrage just stop so those are the two topics that i really wanted to talk about today if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up that helps me out a lot also do not forget to link up with me on my social media all that information will be down below in the description box i'm very very active on twitter so let's be friends and let's keep the conversation going below in the comment section and until my next video i'll see you guys later bye